Giga Texas is 69% done. Nice. And what a magical number it is. I'm Brian. Welcome to my Tesla weekend. Yes, really, it's 69% done, or at least it rounds to that, and things are really heating up in Texas. There's information about the promised Q&A at the end, so if you've had doubts or questions, stick around for that because there are a bunch of answers. But they get long enough that they need their own separate video, so in the meantime, make sure you're subscribed to stay in the know, and let's just get into it. The footings in orange have taken a nice jump this week, though they'll need to accelerate a bit to hit the early to mid-December completion target for the entire site. I'll get into that math in more detail later on. The framing work is still moving forward, and thanks to work on the concrete sections in the casting cathedral, the pace has been holding steady there as well. We'll see a lot more progress here this week as the southwest area continues and the work in the central corridor begins. The steel is already staged in that section, which should make short work of it. The site overall has been maintaining a remarkably steady pace. This may accelerate a bit in coming weeks, but even if it does, it'll be more of a lumpy representation of the actual progress and not indicative of an early completion. The roof coverage is likewise steady. And again, this is counted as 50% done when the first layer goes on, with the remaining 50% only counted 17 weeks after each area is walled off. The interior work saw its first week without an increase in the pace, as the first three weeks of walled off area from March have now reached their final completion points, and there weren't very many interior areas added this week. Once the wall work resumes, this is likely to move very quickly. All of the areas critical to Model Y production are nearing completion, apart from the batteries, and Giga Texas has very few barriers remaining to the start of trial production. The unfinished portions of this factory that we see are likely for Cybertruck and other vehicle production. This was explained in detail in last week's video, so check that out if you want to see why I believe that's the case. If you want to get deeper into the methodology used to track the site, check out some of the earlier videos in the series, but if you have questions, don't be afraid to ask them. And for that matter, if you have answers, don't be afraid to respond to those questions. Last week's top questions will be answered in the companion video likely to come out within the next day. So let's take a look at the site map for this week and get on to the timeline predictions. But spare me six short seconds to thank my Patreons who get early access, bonus material, and keep the channel running for as little as a buck a month. Don't forget the Tesla tattoo reveal at 100 Patreons. Yes, I have one, and no, you can't see it. Not yet, anyhow. So let's take a look at the site map as of today, and let's roll it back to December 14th, and go through it week of a week. There was very little information to go on in the early days, so there have been adjustments over time. The orange represents the footings, with the darker orange representing deeper or heavier ones. The gray indicates framing work. The darker gray indicates a first layer of roofing. The blue indicates walls have been put up, so the interior area can begin its count the darker the blue, the more floors there are. The black lines indicate firewalls or expansion joints, with the heavier ones outlining the concrete areas. That is looking so good. As a reminder, this only counts the main Emerald Building and not any of the other projects on the site, since we haven't been able to determine their eventual size. As of today, Giga Texas, the future birthplace of your Cybertruck, is 69% done, nice, and will be complete, for lack of a better word, in a total of 509 days from groundbreaking on or about December 12th of this year. That pace is held steady, even with the holiday weekend. 
It's mostly a two-floor structure, as you can see, and now has a total of over 7.5 million square feet framed up, which is 697,000 square meters. There's still a lot of extra work taking place around the site, and that isn't slowing down either, but for the main emerald footprint, where we can actually know the final size and scope, it's still running right on pace. For now, at least. But I've been saying for now at least for the last 30 weeks, and so far, it's held steady. In order to be done done by the first week of December, they'll need to get all the footings poured by July 26th, since they typically take four weeks to fully cure before columns are added. And that's looking unlikely at this point, though not impossible. There are still about 168 footings to be poured, so that's eight they'll need to finish every single day for the next few weeks. To put that in perspective, they would need this many new footings per day. What do you think? Possible? Likely? The rantings of a madman? From there, they would need to get all the walls up by August 23rd which would mean an additional 26.7 squares walled off per day, which sounds like a lot, but would only look like this. If they added just two squares of wall panels, that would cover the day. When they were adding walls recently, they did so at a pace pretty comparable to this. But I'll ask again, how likely do you think that is? I think it's definitely possible, but a bit ambitious. They could very easily miss this target, though the factory would appear from the outside to be complete still in October. So let's talk about the Q&A. Last week, I asked you guys to share your questions, and you didn't let me down. There are too many to lump into this video as I'd originally planned, so there's a separate video for that. But here are the questions that will be addressed, and the video will have timestamps on it so you can skip to the ones you really want to know about. What car do they start manufacturing first there? I don't think it can begin production for a while yet, due to some, half of the General Assembly area not beginning interior work yet. So what is Tesla going to do with all that land? I heard battery facilities and some other interesting things, like across the highway? Any updates on the 4680 cell production? Any word on any other company producing them? Any new machines that have come in? Any new photos of the interior? When could the rest of the walls go up? Why are the alleys taking so long? The one caveat to start production soon is that, unless I'm mistaken, Elon mentioned that the cars produced in Texas would have the 4680 batteries from the start. Wasn't Panasonic supposed to be making the 4680s at Giga Nevada? I think the central area has as many footings as it's going to get. Why has Giga Nevada never been fully completed before starting other factories? Does anyone know? Are they ever going to finish the Nevada factory? Why was work on it abandoned? Does anyone have any useful insight? So if they're likely to start Model Y production soon, any insights on when the Cybertruck will start production? What has to be completed in the factory for that to start? When are you going to do another interview with Jeff? When are you getting interviewed by Dave Lee or Warren Redlick? When are you going to start tracking SpaceX activities? When will the first Model Y deliveries be? And when will the first Starship land safely on Mars? So what did I miss or misunderstand? Leave me all your blinding brilliance in the comments below. And as always, my friends, I remind you clever robots to stay tuned, stay juicy. And I simply cannot wait to hear from you with all your thoughts and corrections.